Rodney Orr from TiderInsider.com and Tider Insider TV. Two days prior to National Signing Day. And, Rodney, I think what's interesting this year, and, of course, we talked about some of it, it a lot of these young men want to wait and commit live on National Signing Day for the 62 different networks that ESPN has and so forth and so on. But I don't think I've ever seen a year, uh, even recently, where Alabama has been involved this late in the process with so many uncommitted prospects that really will dictate how this recruiting class is viewed. Let's run down some of these guys. There's a bunch of them, Rod, but... We'll start with Nigel Knott, the cornerback out of Germantown High School in Madison, Mississippi. Long thought to be an Alabama lean as, as far back as last summer. We thought a commitment could be forthcoming. Still hasn't committed. And now uh, I know Ole Miss is making a big push. Is is not going to wind up, in your opinion, signing with the Crimson Tide? Or, or is that one that Alabama's going to going to lose? You're talking about Nigel Knott? Nigel Knott, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll pick Alabama today. Okay. It should. That's expected. Okay. I mean, you never know what these guys might do, but yeah, I think so. One thirty p.m. today, his announcement. All right, let's talk about some others. Scott Lashley, offensive tackle from West Point, Mississippi, will announce tomorrow at four. Looks like it's down to Alabama, LSU, and Mississippi State. Well, I, I think Alabama's not in bad position here. I mean, uh, now he may end up going to state. I, I think right now, in his mind, Alabama's kind of maybe has the edge now. Again, anything can happen between now with this situation between now and four o'clock tomorrow. But I, I think Alabama, I got Alabama's got an edge on with Scott Lashley as we talk right now. Gordo linebacker Ben Davis will announce Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. on ESPNU, the son of Wayne Davis, Alabama's all-time leading tackler, uh, down to Alabama, Auburn, Notre Dame, and Georgia. I know we'd all be shocked if he goes anywhere but Alabama, but my goodness, he's milked this thing all the way down to the end and has continued to say that, you know, he's been open in the process. Notre Dame brought their semi-tractor trailer through Gordo last week. He's, you know, Visited Auburn last weekend, not this past weekend, but uh, I guess it was this weekend, wasn't it? And uh, has continued to to uh, to play this thing out. So, you know, the latest on, on Ben Davis, in your opinion. I think it's Alabama. But, you know, you're at, just to get cut to the chase. I mean, I think he's looked around. I think he certainly has, you know, given other schools opportunities. He hasn't just necessarily limited himself to Alabama due to his connections to the program with his dad Wayne Davis and you know he, he certainly deserves to to, to, cert, to look at every school every option that he has and he's done that then I, I think that uh, when all said and done then Davis uh, will, will end up at Alabama his good buddy Lindo Mac Wilson from Carver High School in Montgomery another linebacker Wednesday at one on ESPN two he's eliminated Florida who was once his Long-time leader, and it looks like it's down to Alabama and Georgia. Yeah, and again, I think it's Alabama, uh, I, I, and I think one of the good, one of the big reasons for his decision will be it, partly his relationship with Ben Davis. I think Ben Davis, he and Ben Davis, are really close, and uh, I think in some ways they'd like to play together. And I think it's going to be an influence. I'm not saying that he's going to Alabama just because he's going to make his own decision. Mac Wilson will, but I think in the end. It's Alabama. Terrell Hall, defensive end from the D.C. area. Maryland has made him a priority. Alabama has been in with him a long time, once committed to Ohio State. But here comes Ole Miss. He was in Oxford this past weekend, and you know we've seen in, in the last few years when Ole Miss uh, you know, gets somebody in there late, they're a factor. Uh, he is going to announce at 1 p.m. on Central Time on Wednesday. Alabama, I think, still looks like the favorite, but uh, you know, Maryland and Ole Miss are pitching hard, too. Well, uh, yeah, and again, you're talking about a guy that's, you know, from that, another area of the country, and you never really know what he might just decide to do. But I think, uh, again, I, I, I think Alabama's in great position with Terrell Hall. I think he had a great visit. Alabama's recruited him really hard for a long time. He did visit Ole Miss this weekend, and you know, somehow they've got a magic about them that can turn guys around in a matter of hours. Uh, but uh, I think Alabama's pretty solid here. 
All right, uh, a guy that's popped up late in the process. It's hard to fly under the radar uh, in these days, but Joshua Jacobs, the running back from Tulsa, did. Alabama had him in this past weekend. Some people thought an offer might be forthcoming. Alabama did not offer, at least that's what we're hearing. But uh, certainly the Tide's interested, along with Missouri and and Oklahoma and some others. Uh, What's the latest on Joshua Jacobs, the uh, running back from Tulsa? Well, you know, from what we picked up on his from his camp uh, last night was that Alabama really didn't necessarily push him for commitment. They told him to, you know, they suggested that he go home and can think about it, make sure that what he wanted to do. And I think Alabama would like to wait, this is my feeling on it, that probably get a final word for sure on Devon Penniman, who is their top target at running back of the guys left out of Manville, Texas. He's committed to Ole Miss, visited Ole Miss this weekend. I think he probably sticks with Ole Miss, or if he flips, he flips to Texas A&M. So I, but I do think Alabama would like to find out what Pentamon's going to do before they make a decision on another running back. And Pentamon expected to tweet out his final decision today, so we'll watch for that. And I want to correct something I said on Jacobs. He does have an offer reportedly, but as you said, uh, wasn't pushed for a commitment this past weekend when he was in for an official visit. All right, let's get to some other guys, and it's going to start really getting interesting with some of these guys. A.J. Brown, wide receiver from Starkville, Alabama, has made him a priority in this class. Big physical player compared to Julio Jones uh, right there in the backyard of Mississippi State. But again, it looks like Ole Miss is is the main competition for Alabama with A.J. Brown. Yeah, you know, it, it is. It does look like that, and I agree with you, Gary. Um, first of all, I don't think A.J.'s ever wanted to go stay in, in the, uh, Starkville. He wants to get out for school. Uh, that's nothing against Mississippi State. just wants to go out on his own. So it, it, it's always been – he's always kind of favored Alabama. But, you know, Ole Miss is uh, – Made a really strong run at him here at the end. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to see them going into Starkville and pulling a player like that. Uh, but, you know, if they do, they do. And, uh, you know, again, I think if the pressure was somewhat that maybe he, he he's not really uh, – let me put it to you this way. It still would not surprise me in the end if he ended up at Mississippi State. I know that sounds weird, but – that could come into play a little bit as we start getting uh, crazy things happen here in the last, you know, 30, uh, 48, 72 hours, whatever it is, they kind of change guys. And, and I could see him ending up at any three of the places. But I do think right now Ole Miss is, is hold the edge. Another player from the state of Mississippi that it's going right down to the wire on is Jeffrey Simmons, the talented defensive end from – Noxaby County High School in Macon. Uh, it looks like it's mainly Alabama and Ole Miss here, but Mississippi State and Tennessee are involved as as well. You get uh, any any feeling here on what Simmons might do? Uh, yeah, I, I think Gary. It's, it was it's pretty much pretty much fifty fifty last night after his Ole Miss visit. Uh, Ole Miss has been extremely confident, extremely confident that he's been locked up for a long time, and and he may be. Uh, but I do think that Bo Davis has done a great job recruiting him. I do think that they have a great relationship. He's, Bo Davis has developed a great relationship with his family, the kid, the coaches, at that school. So um, I'm not going to count Alabama out just yet, but I do think, you know, you have to, if you were going to make a pick, Ole Miss, you would have to make a pick of Ole Miss today. But, again, there's, there's still, you know, some time here. All right, getting out of Mississippi, but some other top prospects that Alabama is involved in. Derek Brown, the big defensive tackle from Buford, Georgia. He's kind of gone quiet. He'll announce 2 p.m. on Wednesday on ESPN2. His last visit was to Tennessee, but Auburn seems to have made a big move. Obviously, Georgia uh, wants him badly. Alabama's in there, Mississippi State. Uh, any update for us on Derek Brown? Uh, well, I, I think Auburn has been the team on him, but I know Alabama's really closed the gap significantly the last week or so. Uh, But I do think right now, until I hear otherwise today, I'm going to try to find out something on Derrick Brown, but I think that Auburn has has had the edge over Alabama, and Georgia's out of it. I know people keep saying Georgia. Georgia's out of it. I think they've admitted it to, you know, Kirby knows that he's he's pretty much out of that, and uh, it's, it's pretty much Alabama and 
Auburn. Now, Tennessee may still have a chance. He visited there this weekend. I haven't heard how that went. Well, Michael Carter or Mikel Carter, however he pronounces it, is a player out of Georgia as well, defensive lineman from Jackson that Georgia very much is in the picture with. But but Alabama is too. And uh, along with Clemson and Georgia Tech, he'll announce 8 p.m. on Wednesday. Um, is this a guy that Alabama might be able in there to go in there and take away from Georgia? Possibly. He had a, he had a really good visit. Alabama's been in good position with him for months. and uh, But it's Alabama or Georgia. He's from a really big Georgia town, Jackson, Georgia. So, you know, uh, I think some people right now are thinking Georgia may have the edge. You know, but, I, you know, Gary, like I said, I think this one could go either way. I know we're getting short on time, Rodney, but uh, defensive line always a priority. The junior college player, uh, Jamar King, that came in to visit uh, recently, I think a lot of people felt like uh, – you know, he, he is a guy that Alabama can get if they want him. Uh, you're feeling on whether or not uh, Jamar King will be in this class. Well, he very well could be. I mean, I think a lot of it's going to depend on right now how Alabama feels about Brown, Derek Brown, and Michael Carter because they need some interior guys. And I think if King's in this class, it probably means that they don't feel good about one or both of those guys. And that's nothing against Jamar King. It's just but he's a junior college player, and I think Alabama's probably looking at uh, as their high school players as their top targets right now. All right, Rob, we're short on time, so I'm just going to run down some players. You give me a yes or no on whether or not you think they sign with Alabama. Uh, Mikel Jones, wide receiver from Patterson, Louisiana. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, let me move on down. I think it's Mike Juarez, linebacker Mike from Juarez, yeah, out from, of uh, California. Yeah. I think it's Alabama or UCLA. McCole Hardeman, athlete from Elberton, Georgia. No. Nigel Warrior, safety from Swanee, Georgia. No. Jared Maiden, defensive back from Texas. Very possibly. Alabama or Oklahoma on signing day. Shaheem Carter, defensive back from Kentwood, Louisiana. I mean, it's, it's, it's possible. It certainly is. Alabama and Ole Miss. Demetrius Robertson, athlete from Savannah. Very doubtful, in my opinion. Devin, a CC tight end from Concord, California. I, I don't think so, but Tosh McCoy's recruited him, so you never know. And it's, I think it's Alabama and a couple of those West Coast schools in Michigan. Dontavious Jackson, linebacker from Houston. No, I don't think so. Landon Dickerson, offensive tackle from Hudson, North Carolina. Uh, I would lean towards no right now. Corey Banks, wide receiver from Tyrone, Georgia, North Carolina commitment. Um, you know, my guess is probably not, but it, it, he's certainly a guy that they like. Kobe Jones, defensive lineman from Starkville, Mississippi. That's another guy, Gary, that I think is a really, really good player. I, you know, right now I would lean towards no. 